Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I have a, a bunch of new things to try, a couple of second impressions, but we're going to crack on. Just a nice chill get ready with me. Maybe have a chat. Um, so this will be my first time trying Adept and this is the Ninhydrum palette. I do actually have the Amy Loves palette on its way to me um but i have swatched these this is what she looks like and i'm super excited to try i've heard so many people raving about adept so we are going to get into this so first i'm going to go in with acm 31 the deepest shade here and i'm going to take that on my p louise hashtag 112 um, I have done my brows and eye primer already. Um, the brow pomade I used was the V Cosmetics Bewitching Brow Pomade in the shades Storm Clouds and Lavender Fields. And the eye primer is the P. Louise Base in Rumour 02. Okay, so let's let's go in with this. I've been I've had this for a little while now. But where I've not done as much filming and also other stuff has kind of come in and taken over newer stuff. It kind of got pushed to the back a bit. But here we are now. And I do love this colour. This is beautiful. I'm super excited for the Amy Loves palette to get here. Um, I know it's probably going to take quite a while, so by the time I get it, it's not going to be new, but that's okay. I don't mind. I just really, I really want it. I love Amy. I think she is just such a genuine, sweet, lovely person. I love her content. And yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited for her to have this collab. And with a brand that she loves it just makes it that bit more exciting doesn't it oh this is this is pretty this shade I don't know if I'm gonna want to go in the other the other matte because I'm quite liking this blending itself out it's this is a really nice shade this is my kind of cool tone purple I love these shades yeah it's definitely performing nicely i love how it's blending itself out and just make sure i deepen up the outer v here and in the crease and then we'll just blow this up and out yeah i did consider kind of blending it out with the other matte shade but i i like what this is doing so I'm going to stick with this. If you can hear traffic and workmen, I do apologise. It is really hot here today, weirdly. Um, so I've got to have the window open, otherwise I will be sat here sweating buckets, which doesn't do any favours for makeup. So yes, we have the windows open. This is gorgeous. So yeah, I like how that's looking a lot. I like that a lot. So I had to take a couple of days off doing makeup again because my eyes flared up, the blepharitis. So that's kind of delayed me a bit again, but it's okay. We're not not as far off track as as have been. Um, I've gotten into some like TV programs recently. Um, well, me and my daughter are re-watching All the Criminal Minds. That's one of my favorite shows ever. And luckily that's one that both of us love. So it's something we have to do in, in common, something that we can do together that we love. Um, I've also been watching The Listener. 
that took me by surprise i i was a bit skeptical at first i thought it, the idea sounded interesting it's basically a guy who is a telepath um and how how he uses that for good um but yeah i've gotten quite into that recently i do really enjoy that um what else have, been, have i been watching supernatural oh my god i am obsessed with supernatural i love it i absolutely love it i can't decide who my favorite character i love castiel i just think he is awesome and bobby bobby's so cool obviously sam and dean are cool and ruby ruby's another one that i i quite like i think i don't know i'm always changing my mind because you're never quite sure but yeah i'm definitely really enjoying it and i'm really enjoying this oh, let's blow that out a bit more i don't want it to be too kind of precise Yeah, there's some TV programs I've been watching lately and loving. Films. I've been watching a lot of films, actually, also. Um, one of my favourite at the moment is Blended. It is so... I love Adam Sandler and I love Drew Barrymore, so that kind of... I guess that explains why I love it so much. Maybe not. It's just such a... A fun film. Um, I've been watching World War Z. Watched that the other night. That was really good. Ooh. But you're only gonna really like that if you like zombie films, I guess. <laughs> if you if you don't mind zombie films, uh, I really enjoyed it. Let's get into these shimmers because this, if I'm being honest, is the bit I'm most excited about. I think for the outer part of my lid, I'm going to go into ACI21, this one here. And I'm going to take that on, what are you, a Morphe Medicine Beer Flat Fluffy brush? So let's, let's see. Let's see. Okay, that shade's beautiful. That's such a pretty shade. I'm just gonna kind of blend it into the mat a little bit. I'm kind of using this to, to deepen as well. I'll go back in with the mat afterwards to blend a bit better. But ooh, that is very pretty. That's very pretty. So, what have you guys been watching recently? Do you have any recommendations? I love watching like new films but I'm also one of these what I call comfort film watches so I have certain films that I have on like either as background noise or you know just for when I, I need to not have to think too much or concentrate too much um, mainly the Harry Potter films um, my favourite film which is Con Air I, I tend to love anything with Nicolas Cage in. Face Off is another amazing one. Um, the Day After Tomorrow, that's another another one of my comfort films. Are any of you guys like that? Can you watch this, the same film over and over again? So my mum's not like that at all. 
um, it's very rare she can find a film that she can watch like more than once. I think she finds it a bit odd that we watch the same films over and over. But ooh, that's stunning. Okay, okay. So I think this one I find really intriguing. So I think I'm going to take ACI19, ACI19, this one here. And I'm going to pop that on the inner part of my lids. Yeah, this weekend, I mean, as I'm filming this, hopefully it'll go up tonight. Um, but as I'm filming this, it's Friday. And like today is really warm. It's like a summer's day. And this whole weekend is meant to be the same. So I can definitely see me spending some time out in the garden. Not that I do anything other than sit. Um, but then it, our garden doesn't take much. It's astroturf. So I've got a small patch of soil um, for flowers. which is cute but mainly i just sit on the chair out in the garden and just enjoy the sunshine i think we're only meant to have it just over the weekend though this weather and then it's gonna go back to rainy and miserable so i might even get the paddling pool out for jace which is my dog if you're new um i bought him a, a paddling pool for to play in, in the garden and it hasn't been warm enough to set it up for him yet but I think this weekend maybe we'll see we shall see this colour is stunning absolutely stunning I love these quirky colours it's kind of like a a dusty pink to, to green it looks a bit brighter pink in some lights but this is gorgeous i can see what the hype is all about definitely i get the hype now that i'm trying this it's just taken me a long time because um the shipping. The shipping is my biggest thing. Um, shipping to the UK from America. Um, some brands manage to get it that bit cheaper. But it's generally not the cheapest. So I'm usually quite wary. Like in case I'm not going to like the formula. And I've spent all this money on a, a palette. And then getting it shipped. I'm so glad that I'm finally trying Adept because that looks absolutely stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Ooh. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm make sure it's close to my lash line there. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm just going to quickly go back in with the brush I used for the first shade and just tap that into it as well. okay i am loving how that's looking i'm just going to quickly go back into the mat the acm 31 31 i'm not quite sure how you pronounce it and i'm just going to blend that into the edge of that shimmer there just so i don't have the harsh line that is looking gorgeous I'm loving this palette, loving it. Um, the reason I wanted to try this today is because I wanted to try the formula before Amy's, 
palette got here just to give me an idea of what to expect now if this is anything to go by I am going to absolutely love it because this is stunning Yeah, I'm loving how this is looking. Okay. I am going to quickly just clean up my under eyes and that. And then we'll crack on with some face products. So just a moment. Okay, so all cleaned up. I do have a new primer to try. It's the Spectrum Glowful Hydrating and Illuminating Primer. And let's see what this looks like. Ooh. It's got colour. I don't know why that surprises me, but. Oh, it feels nice though. It does feel hydrating. Okay. And the, the colour is not really doing anything much apart from, yeah, brightening maybe. Yeah, it does feel nice. Is it tacky? Slightly. Slightly tacky. Then I do quite like a, a tacky primer. I just think it grips the foundation that much better. This. This feels really nice and hydrating. You see, I'm kind of blending it into... I've used eyeshadow primer to kind of shape the top of my brows as well so I'm just kind of blending it into that too okay oh yeah it's quite quite tacky now okay yeah decent amount of tack <laughs> see I've had that in my box of shame I call it my box of shame, new in, I haven't tried yet box. Um, I've had that in there for so long and yeah, finally trying it. Um, first impressions, I like, I like how it's looking, I like that it's a bit tacky. Um, next up, the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation, I have the shade Shell, is it Shell? Yeah, Shell. Um, this will be my second time trying this. Um, but my first time trying the, what are you called, Magic Makeup Blender, the size of this baby. This is from Artitude Cosmetics. Um, let's pop you there for a second. Um, I really enjoyed this foundation the first time I tried it. So let's see if we feel the same the second time. Oh. I can't remember if I used a a beauty blender with this like, like when I first tried it or whether I used a brush. Hmm. I think it does have a a very slight smell. But I do like how it's how it's looking. Obviously, it's a different primer that I'm using it on. It's the first time trying that primer, obviously. I mean, you just saw that. Um, I always feel when I'm editing and I'm using a beauty blender, I always, it always looks to me like I'm punching myself in the face with it. I'm actually not. I don't know why it looks like it on camera. I'm not being rough. It just for some reason looks like it but yeah it always makes me laugh when I'm editing especially when I come to doing like my forehead I just think it looks like I'm beating myself up I love this beauty blender I love the size of it it's just getting everything done so quickly I love the shape of it too I don't know why but it pleases me 
and do the forehead. See, this is the bit that I think I've, I look like I'm like really attacking myself with this sponge. <laughs> Don't any of you guys feel like that? I suppose not everyone has to edit themselves, so I suppose not everyone really would notice. But for those of you that do, how, does it feel like that to you when you're editing? <laughs> you look like you're beating yourself up being really rough. No, that interests me for some reason. <laughs> Just blend it into my neck. Yeah, this is definitely a good colour for me. And I like how it's looking. Have a look a bit closer. Yeah, it just looks like skin. Obviously here you can see a bit more, but that's eye primer. Blend it into that bit better. But yeah, up close, it's let's build it up a bit more around here. Up close, it looks really nice. Just building it up just a little bit in the areas that are more red. I do have a concealer to use, um, but it's not not the first or the second time trying it. I've used it a few times, but it's one that I've been really enjoying. Although I'm not sure if she does it anymore. I'll have to find out. So that is the Beauty Moon Cosmetics um, concealer in the shade 03. Yeah, I'm not sure if she still does does it anymore so I'm just gonna pop a bit there it might be a little yellow yeah okay I'm just gonna use the the beauty blender just to that in. Yeah, look at that. My base is looking pretty damn nice. Um, I'm definitely liking that. Well, touch wood, I think today's going to be a good makeup day. I know I'm like my own worst critic um, when it comes to my looks, but a lot of the time I always look at it after and think I should have done this or I could have done that better. But, I don't know. <laughs> Aren't we all more critical of ourselves than we are others? Um, yeah, that is looking really nice. I'm going to go into the Glam Shop Cream Face Palette for the contour shade. Um, using this one here. I'm making a mess everywhere. But I really enjoyed this. This is like a second time using this. I really enjoyed this the first time. So, yeah, look at that. It is the perfect colour for me. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So I have discovered recently, or rediscovered, Pinterest for hairstyles. And I've got myself all these little tiny elastics and Kirby grips, you know, like bobby pins, whatever it is you call them. Um, and I've got some with little, like, crystals on the top. So 
So I'm trying out, I'm just doing some kind of funky little hairstyles just for something a bit different from the same old, same old. But I, don't know, I just feel like a change. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like trying some new things. I don't know what's gotten into me recently, but yeah kind of in the mood for trying new things at the moment yeah this is a, a really nice color match for me Okay, so I do have a new kind of, I think it's cream to powder, what are you, where's the, the box, it says it on the box, Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder, yeah, Blurring Balm Powder, in the shade Rosé and Brunch, it's from Danessa Myricks, Danessa Myricks Beauty, this is the shade, it looks so pretty, um, so yeah, ooh, she's got some pigment. Oh, she's got a lot of pigment. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh, it's blending out nice though. Really nice. Oh, okay. That looks really nice on the skin. Really nice. Again, it's, yeah, it picks up a lot. <laughs> it's, very very pigmented but yeah it's blending out beautifully Ooh. that is blending beautifully look at that that is a gorgeous shade I was very fortunate to find someone selling this on Vinted, like brand new Untouched, um, because yeah, the kind of, the price for this is a little out of my price range generally. Um, you know, the Danessa Myricks beauty products are that bit more kind of high end price, but That looks stunning. I love that. Okay. Wow, oh, that is a huge win. That looks so nice. Okay, so next up I have a new powder to try. It's from Artitude Cosmetics. It's the new Pat Pat powder, loose setting powder. Love the component. Um, I have the shade Linen, which I believe is the Kind of universal translucent shade. Um, let's open her up. It does come with a little puffy thing, um, but I don't tend to use them. And then you pull, pull that up. And of course, mine is still sealed. Should have thought to do this beforehand. Okay, so plastic seal off and it's got a little net in there. Okay, um, I also picked up to try with it the new um, powder puffs from Artitude. I love the shape of this kind of diamond shape. So we are going to just set everything in place with this. Ooh. Well, it's very blurring. Okay. I've been looking forward to Rox bringing out some face products because her, the Glow Getter oil cleared my skin up just so much. 
and I know that she wouldn't bring anything out that she didn't think was like amazing so it would have taken her a long time to to kind of find the formula that she loved and yeah like I said I'm a brand ambassador for Artichu Cosmetics or if I've said that um but also I mean I've been buying from Artichu Cosmetics and loving a brand since long before I became a brand ambassador and I'm very fortunate that I do receive some things in PR this I did buy myself um I had to I had to try it this is making my skin just look it's a proper like a filter I don't know if you can see it's really blurring really smoothing Ooh some of it in my hair of course I have this powder puff's really nice I do love the shape of it definitely again it probably looks like I'm beating myself up with <laughs> go around that is beautiful I think I may I've just found a new favourite powder. I'm going to have to use it a few more times just to, to check. But this, just looking at it, could actually take the place of my HMB Cosmetics powder. Just looking at what my skin looks like. Yeah, this is super super smoothing and beautiful okay well very impressed with this first off very impressed <laughs> and yeah this is definitely a contender for favorites definitely my skin looks beautiful okay loving that okay i love how that's looking i'm going to quickly contour before we do finish the eyes because I like to because otherwise I, I don't know I just like to add the shape I don't know um but I'm I've picked out an oldie but goodie this is one of my all-time favorites it's from peaches and cream which is a UK indie brand it is the sculpting powder in shade light to medium you can see how much I love this um yeah it is a firm favorite and has been for a long time now I love it it's just a really nice formula and a really nice colour. Yeah. Look at that. Just looks beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, it's one I always recommend if people are looking for if they have kind of the same skin tone as me, I would suggest this one. Obviously they have other shades. Um, but formula wise it is beautiful look at that and just shape my nose yeah it's a really nice formula I don't know what's going on outside apologies um, people screeching yeah this is definitely one that I recommend to people a lot it is an amazing contour powder love that let's continue with the eyes and I'm thinking I'm thinking <sighs> what do I want to do let's get a little brush I think think I am going to take getting colour everywhere I am going to take ACI 23 this one and I'm going to pop that towards the outer part of my lower lash line so just, ooh. yeah that's nice 
I've got to remember I've done my base because uh, I'm terrible for forgetting that and getting stuff everywhere. I'm just going to blow it out a bit. That's really pretty. It's kind of a real like bright pink to green, which if you know me, you know is my favourite colour combo, green and pink. That looks gorgeous. I am loving that. Ooh. That's super pretty. That definitely has beautiful shift. Definitely my kind of shade. Ooh. Yeah, I love how that's looking. Okay. So, shall I get... Let's get you. And then I think for the inner part... Ooh, do I want that one or that one? think I'm actually I'm gonna go in with ACI 25 that green I think that is gonna look absolutely stunning or do I want to go with ACI 22 at all oh, crikey I think actually I'm gonna go with this one ACI 22 or that one no definitely that one I'm going into that one I couldn't make my mind up then. They all look absolutely stunning. Like when I swatched them. So I'm just taking this on the inner part. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Look at that. And that's got like a peachy shift to it. It's like an olivey green to, to kind of a peachy, peachy pink. I love that. It's a really nice, really nice shade. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down with the hype. yeah now i'm thinking why did i wait so long to try them when i could have been enjoying this for ages now but it's okay that looks so pretty so pretty and then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight i'm gonna use ACD18. I don't know what the letters and numbers are in relation to. If you know, feel free to kind of let me know in the comment section below. Um, oh, yes. A real pretty pink to gold. That is stunning. That is stunning. Okay. Yeah, now I feel a bit silly for waiting this long. This is absolutely gorgeous. I think also where I only had the two mats in kind of probably put me off a bit as well, but I don't know why, because I've literally only used one one of the two mats and I am loving the look absolutely loving it so yeah pop a bit of that up under my brow That's so pretty look at that Uh, 
am loving that. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do my my eyes, like finish my eyes off camera. Um, just because my contact lenses keep getting stuck, so I need to stick some drops in. So I'm just going to finish my eyes. I am going to be trying a new mascara. It's the Catrice Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara. Um, other than that, I'm not trying anything new on my eyes. So I will get that done and then we'll come back and just finish the face together. So yes, just stay there a moment. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. This mascara actually did a pretty damn good job. So I've decided to not worry about false lashes today. And I'm just wearing the Catrice Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara blackest false lashes it says there blackest um yeah i think actually it's done a pretty pretty good job so i used the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade crybaby in my waterline because i thought that went perfectly and i used the catrice calligraph pro precise matte liner in black um I've actually been really enjoying this and yeah what more can I say so we do have a new blush to try and it is from Beauty Bay it is the powder blusher in the shade Bitten so this is the shade so let's oh, it doesn't look to be too pig no it's nicely pigmented though yeah okay oh yeah I think that's the perfect shade match for that Danessa Myricks blurring balm okay look at that that's really pretty it's going on really nicely my skin just looks amazing I think that the pat pat powder the loose setting powder from artitude cosmetics has definitely won my heart it is beautiful i mean i expected it to be amazing because i know that rox wouldn't bring out anything that she didn't absolutely love herself but oh, my skin just looks like it's got filter on it and i'm living for that And that shade, that blush is beautiful. See, it looks slightly more washed out to you guys with these lights. But in person, that's pretty damn bold. I like that a lot. That is a beautiful shade. Okay. So far I'm loving this, it's a really nice formula. Blends beautifully. Okay, um, the highlighter I've used a couple of times now, but I am absolutely living for this highlighter. I am in love with it. And it is the What's Up Beauty Serengeti highlighter. I have the shade Wild Acacia. I mean, the packaging that has me. And then this, I mean, oh. Look at that detail. It is stunning. Um, I mix the two shades and just look at this. Oh. So you can go for a slightly more um, subtle look. Not that that's overly subtle, but you can also do this look at that I mean if that isn't stunning I don't know what is I'm living for this highlighter just pop a little bit more on it is so pretty I'm loving it so if you're looking for a, a beautiful blinding highlighter 
I would definitely recommend this if you like to have like your makeup to be aesthetically pleasing as well because it is stunning, the packaging stunning, the, the detail in the highlighter itself is stunning. I mean, oh, look at that. See me from space. Love. I love that. Let me put it down to my nose. That is just... Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, seriously, I'm just absolutely in love with that highlighter. I don't feel so bad kind of dipping my brush in the the picture. The picture? The emboss, embossing bit. The detail. But for this, it's worth it because that is stunning okay so for my lips i'm going to be using a new lip liner and lip gloss from saint angel sinners in collaboration with calvin brockington artistry and yeah i haven't actually tried the lip liner yet this one i've swatched it on my arm this is shade 10 uh, the lip gloss i have tried with one of the other lip liners is the shade crazy but yeah, I think this combo is going to work beautifully today. Does anyone else's mouth get really twitchy when you're trying to put on lip liner? Excuse that kind of banging around. That's Severus, one of my snakes. He's moving the stuff around. I don't think he's happy where I've put his logs, so he's moving them. I'm just going to kind of fill the edges in a bit. Okay, I do love the formula of these. They're kind of, they're creamy, but not too creamy, if that makes sense. So you can still get some definition. But yeah, this is shade 10. Um, this collection, the Reckless Collection, actually launched today. It's already launched at the time that I'm using this. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you will have seen a look with that collection, with the palette and one of the lip liners and this lip gloss actually um and also i have another look up on my instagram with it yes that has all launched today and let's pop on I like how that's looking. And just quickly. So I don't end up with it all over my teeth. Instead, my finger. Um, yeah. This is the finished look. I don't know if you can see my lashes. Like how how nice they look because obviously I've put on such a, a thick winged liner um, I just thought that that kind of went with today's look I don't know let me know what you guys think um, so let's have a quick chat about some of the products that I did try today for the first time move my mirror out of the way um, the primer the spectrum glowful hydrating and illuminating primer this made my skin look and feel really nice it's got a slight tack to it so yeah obviously going to keep trying it but very first impressions i think i'm going to like this um the foundation this is a second impression hello mr fluff um it's crawling my crawling treading on my feet hi hey the the elf flawless satin foundation 
is yes a second impression again i'm loving this so far when i tried it the first time it lasted beautifully on my skin all day and so i'm not expecting anything less really um but yeah still trying this out but so far loving it um the concealer i have used a few times now from beauty moon cosmetics like i said i don't know if she still does the concealers if she does it's beautiful i really enjoy this i have shade three um what are we at now the glam shop poland cream face palette um i used the middle shade cream contour i've been really enjoying this formula in this is beautiful um but i find that with all of glam shop poland's face products and i love the eyeshadows yeah loving that um the danessa marks beauty the yummy skin the blurring blom blurring blurring blom blurring balm powder in rose and brunch this look absolutely gorgeous and now that i felt the consistency of it and used it i think you could even use this over the top of powder and it would look beautiful and still blend as nicely but yeah loving that really loving that um where are we at now oh the artitude cosmetics the what are you called again um the make the i can't speak the magic makeup blender this is lovely i i love this i love the size of it it is big it's beautiful it makes it quicker i love that you've still got the precision there i mean i only used that bit there but you could use this obviously for you like setting with powder if you have particularly oily skin um which i don't anymore but i used to find with a damp blender to press the powder in i learned that from nikia joy um who is here on youtube and has her own brand now um and i actually love her powder but yes so you can use it for pressing in powder to set your makeup also yeah love that and it's like super squishy and love that um yes where are we at now um the pat pat face powder the loose powder in shade linen this I'm obsessed with from the word go my skin just instantly looked like it had a filter on it it is beautiful I'm I love how my skin's looking this I think could take first place now as my favorite powder I'm gonna keep trying it with different foundations etc and seeing how it lasts throughout the day but I it's definitely a firm contender at the moment definitely I'm loving it um i do have codes with a couple of the brands any codes i have you will find in the bottom of my description box below i always have all of my discount codes and affiliate links just right at the bottom of the description box um the peaches and cream sculpting powder in light to medium this has been a favorite of mine for a long time now and yeah i love that um so yeah not new but an oldie but a goodie the beauty bay pressed powder powder blusher in the shade bitten this is beautiful and it is the perfect match with the danessa myricks the yummy skin skin blurring balm in the shade rose and brunch um they paired beautifully together this has got a lovely formula um i might have to pick up some other shades of this i did get this in a mystery box from beauty bay um and yeah super glad i did and definitely think i'm gonna have to pick up some more shades um where are we at now so the what's up beauty serengeti highlighter in the shade wild acacia oh my god this i am seriously obsessed with this guys I've used it a few times now seriously obsessed I mean just look at the detail in that and it's like raised 
oh, it's so beautiful and I mean yeah just look look at that see me from space glow brightness highlight I love it absolutely love that the lip liner and lip gloss from Saints Angel Sinners and Calvin Brockington Artistry from the Reckless Collection these pair really beautifully together as you can see I think it looks absolutely stunning um I have tried the other neutral brown lip liner with this also looks absolutely stunning love 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 the mascara I'm trying to look for anything I've missed oh the powder puff from Artistry Cosmetics love this came in a pack of two yeah love that uh the catrice glam and doll false lashes mascara yeah i'm actually quite impressed so i will continue to use this um obviously if it transfers under my eyes it's not going to be much of a win for me we shall see but so far so good i love what it's done to my lashes and the Adept Cosmetics Nin Hydrum Palette. I love this packaging. It's kind of that faux leather effect um, with the stitching and the name on the front. I think it looks beautiful. Um, and the colour story. I mean, you've only got two mattes, which was the thing that made me think, oh, only two mattes. But I only used one of them. <laughs> I only needed one for this look and I love it these shifty shades are super stunning this one I'm kind of obsessed with this shade it is super beautiful um this one here I mean I hope oh yeah I think I'm catching the shifts I mean just look at the shifts in those they are super stunning yeah i love this so far i can definitely see what the hype is with the adept formula yes i'm super excited now for my amy loves palette to arrive yeah super excited for that one i've seen the swatches and i was like oh my god i've got to have it i love amy so yeah so yeah guys i think we've come to the end i have finished um I'll come a bit closer again just so that you can see the look I yeah I'm loving it I feel all happy happy um I've tried out one of them new hairstyles I don't think I've done the best job with it but yeah it's gonna be fun getting those little ties out I do have one of the little um tools to cut cut it out but when I tried it the other day I actually cut some of my hair out so we'll see um but yeah I've rambled on for long enough now thank you so much for spending this time with me today I really hope you've enjoyed this let me know what you think of any of these products are these products you've tried and loved are there some that you want to pick up are there some you don't like let's have a chat in the comment section below I love chatting with you guys and yeah if you're new welcome to my crazy world <laughs> um i love colorful makeup mainly i am dipping my toes into the neutrals a little bit more um so you may see some more neutral stuff coming up um but you'll definitely see a lot of indie brands on my channel so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in please do consider sticking around and subscribing so that we can hang out some more I love hanging out with you guys and for those of you returning thank you so much i love and appreciate you more than you know Just, yeah thank you guys i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye yeah. stepping in the spa like she own it looking like the world is your runway she can set it off like a gun play oh my the city with the party always getting praised like it's sunday she said baby what you gonna do about it